Pioneer fans, Rick Rosetta here. Joining me to my left is Talia Williams of the LIU Post Women's Cross Country Team. Now, Talia Williams has done something so impressive, it has not been done since 2009, and that is win the 5K at the East Coast Conference Championships, earning her the Runner of the Year and Rookie of the Year nominations. The only time it's been done was back in 2009 by a runner from New York Institute of Technology. So Talia Williams will be at the NCAA East Regionals in two weeks on the 22nd up in New Hampshire. Talia, first of all, congratulations on what truly is an amazing accomplishment. Thank you. So let's talk about the ECCs and just what that means to, to you to be not only the runner of the year, to be, be everybody, but to do it as a first year and to be runner and rookie of the year to win, win both awards. Well, it feels great. Um... It was hard, I'm not going to say it was easy, um, but with every practice, I put 110% in everything I do, so it feels nice to actually see that like hard work actually like pays off, and yeah, I'm excited. Aside from a fourth place finish at the Fordham Fiasco and an eighth place finish at Princeton, you've won every event this year in women's cross country. It's been a whirlwind of a season for you, really, but obviously it's not just the individual, it's the team effort, and of course, your teammates, Elizabeth Sterling, Shaylin Stell, have all been there with you. So talk about that feeling of, you know, being the pace setter, but at the same time having that team camaraderie there with you. Um, it's a lot of pressure sometimes, um, being the pace setter, instead of following, like, instead of backing up the pace setter. I'm, I am it, and um, it's nice to know that I have um, the rest of my team like working just as hard as I am, just so I'm not just working for myself, I'm working also to get the team where we need to go to. So obviously, conference championships, the team places third out of the teams that were there. A little disappointing, I can, I, I can understand, but at the same time, of the accomplishments you've had so far, not offset by the fact that you finished third in the ECC. So I assume the goal for next year is to be first in the conference championships, correct? Yes, that's the goal. So moving on to what's happening for you, obviously the NCAA East Regional. It seems like the season just started, and now you're running in New Hampshire on November 22nd. Opportunity to get to the national race and the national championships. Does that hit you yet, or what is going through your mind? No, it hasn't hit me yet. Um, it still hasn't even hit me yet that ECC has already passed because it came so quick. Um, but yeah, I'm still trying to get into the mindset that I, I am being serious now, but I feel like I need to be more serious about what's coming up, and it's a bigger deal than what it feels like. So. So what what exactly are you looking to do, like practice wise, getting ready for the the uh, East Regional meet? Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't really do anything much different than what I've been doing. Just maybe practice, maybe putting an extra effort into my practice than I usually do. But, um, yeah, I, I plan to work hard in every practice until I get to the goal that I need to get to. And of course, cross country season winding down. For you, you're probably not even thinking about the fact that, oh wait, I'm on the indoor and outdoor track and field teams as well. You're focused more on cross country, but in a way your season's over, but it's not. So what expectations, now that everybody knows who you are pretty much in the conference, what are the expectations going forward for you, not just in the next few weeks, but in the next few months, as you switch from running that cross country style to running that indoor track and field style? Well, cross country is a little bit different than track. Um, I hope that I can still improve like I've been doing but um, the tra I, I still feel like there's going to be a bit difficulty in transition from high school still to college track because um, even though I did have like the cross-country season but since track is so much different I feel like it's still going to be new to me so uh, yeah <laughs> but, 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 but you're still you're still focused so much on cross country yeah that, pretty much yeah and you're just in track and field yeah. just no no done with that so again november 22nd is the ncaa regionals talia williams a chance to get to the national race the national championships but again great accomplishments throughout ecc runner of the year and ecc rookie of the year sweeping both of those awards talia again congratulations on what's been a great season for you and all the best to you in the future as well thank you